Okay, finding a specific heat capacity. An unknown metal is heated to 200 degrees C. The metal is then submerged in 400 milliliters of water. At 20 degrees C, the water is heated to an equilibrium temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. Determine the specific heat capacity of the unknown metal. This is uh, essentially the same as calculating an equilibrium temperature, but this time it's the C of the metal that's the unknown. It actually makes the math a little bit easier. So we have our metal. We have our water. Our metal has a mass of 200 grams, but we'll convert that to kilograms because we're working in physics here, so 200 grams is 0.2 kilograms. It has an initial temperature of 200 degrees C. And we're given the final temperature here, to T2, at 35 degrees C. So the thing we're missing here is the specific heat capacity. Alternatively, the water has a volume of 400 milliliters, but remember, one milliliter equals one gram. So we can say that 400 milliliters is the same as 400 grams, and then we can convert that to kilograms, 0 0.4 kilograms. And the specific heat capacity of water, 4,180 joules per kilogram degree C. See, we need it in kilograms because our specific heats are given in kilograms. T1, 20, and T2, 35. If I have my T2 and T1, I might as well calculate my delta T directly. Here, T2 minus T1 is 35 minus 200. So that's going to be negative 165 degrees C. Alternatively, delta T on this side, T2 minus T1 is 35 minus 20, which is 15 degrees C. So remember, as these things come to equilibrium, the heat lost by one material is gained by the other material. We're assuming, again, we're in a closed system, or no energy is being lost to the environment. So Q lost is going to be equal to Q gained. So for the Q lost, we'll use negative mc delta t to reflect the fact that we know that the energy is coming out of that system. And for the Q gained, we'll use positive mc delta t. This is my metal and my water. So transferring numbers down, 0 0.2 kilograms, negative at front, specific heat I don't know, and a change of temperature of negative 165 degrees C. And over here, I will have a mass of water of 0 0.4 kilograms, a specific heat of 4,180 joules per kilogram degrees C and a delta T of 15 degrees C. Looking at the right hand side first, kilograms and kilograms cancel, degrees C and degrees C cancel, so I'm left with just joules. Works out to 25,080 joules. Now looking at the left hand side, one, two, we got a uh, 33 C, and if I keep my units around 33 kilograms degrees C times my specific heat capacity C, dividing both sides by 33, and the specific heat capacity of my metal is 760 joules per kilogram degree C. So there it is, instead of finding the equilibrium temperature, we didn't know the specific heat capacity, but we used the same formula and put the numbers in, and there it is.